Okay, in this video we're going to look at the Chirrut Imray Bayes Marlboro's 2 pack. I started reviewing this ages ago and something went wrong, and so finally decided to get around to reviewing this again. So you get the two figures, you get Chirrut and Bayes, all this equipment, Force Link, first version of Force Link, European packaging. Here's the back of the box. Both have false links features, come with these accessories. So pretty cool. Bit of art on the side of the box. So let's get this opened and um, have a good look at the figures. Here's the figures in their tray. So you get all these accessories, you get made the backpack, this sort of Gatling gun thing, gunny as in the movie, you get this uh, bowcaster for cheer it. He came single carded, I'm not sure if he came single, single carded. This figure's quite hard to find over here. So you get all of this stuff. Both Force Link first version. Okay, I think the base looks pretty good. Two, it's pretty okay. I've reviewed this figure by itself. Okay, so let's get the figures out of the packaging. Here's the Chirrut. This is from the single card. Unfortunately, it's arm snapped off there which is really unfortunate but there are differences between the two figures in terms of sculpting his eyes are more blue his eyes are darker sculpting on this figure is not as good as the single carded figure you can see more detail there on that sort of gauntlet thing on the armour Here's the paint looks really heavy. It's got a brighter red dot there than this one. See some slight paint differences. I mean overall they're pretty similar, the two figures. Both. Well, this one wouldn't be Force Link, would it? The first release. So, this has got the Force Link on it. Overall, they're pretty similar. This is the staff the Force Link version comes with. Pretty similar to the one that comes with. The basic figure. You can see that this is a darker brown. A bit more glossy, maybe. This is the sort of bike bowcaster he has. Pretty cool. So it's a four, 5 PRA figure, so it's head turns, but it's incredibly stiff. Arms move. Got some nice sculpting there. Legs kick forward. This one's really stiff, that leg there. It moves as well. Just like this one. His head's much more movable. Pretty cool figure.
so it can hold the bow caster like that. Pretty nice piece. You can also hold the staff. <laughs> Hopefully better than this one. Here's the full slink with his figure. I'm sure it's Imwe. We are no friends of the Empire. Follow Jin! Her path is clear! We are no friends of the Empire. Follow Jin! Her path is clear! I fear nothing. The Force is with me. We are no friends of the Empire. Follow Jin! Her path is clear! We are no friends of the Empire. Follow Jin! Her path is clear! We are no friends of the Empire. The force is with me. We are no friends of the Empire. Now we're going to look at Bay's Mulbus. Quite a nice sculpted figure. Comes with the weapon he has in the movie. Quite nicely sculpted. This is quite flexible, so you can move it around a bit. Got nice armor detailing, paint apps, 5 pure A figure. Pretty nice. This figure comes with this huge backpack with a Gatling gun, painted orange at the front to sort of show it's heated up. Pretty nice. So there's the Bayes Mulbus. Pretty cool figure. Head sculpt's not bad. I did get the Black Series figure of this, but I haven't reviewed it yet. Quite a good figure. Nice black piece of cloth there attached to the backpack. I guess you just unplug it. Yeah. Figure from behind has got a hole in the back. Nice sculpting on the costume. Bits of armour added here and there. Pretty cool figure. Rips the gun pretty well. quite nice. Fits well into his hand. You can switch it out for this if you feel so inclined. It's also got quite a flexible rubber attachment there. But I guess you'd want to be more movie accurate with these two characters. Pouch there. You know, necessary detail for this character. Bit of armor there, bit of knee armor, brown boots. Costume sort of beige, khaki color, like more beige, I'd say. Armor around his neck. Heads in a ball joint. Doesn't really move much because of the hair. Head turns, arms swivel around. Gets, actually, it locks there. I think the armor catches that at the back. This arm rotates fully though. Legs go that far forward and that far back. Cool figure. Nicely detailed. Here's Baze with the Gatling gun attached. It's attached like that. It's got an extra piece of to hold it there. 
It's also Force Link itself. So we should check the sounds out. Try this by itself. That's, that's just the backpack. Let's try the figure now. Oh, nonsense. It makes me crazy. Don't get caught. Follow me. Don't get caught. doesn't have any, okay? figures stand nicely and display pretty well. I've got two key Rogue One characters there. I've got Baze and Chirrut. Comes with this crossbow. It comes with a massive Gatling gun backpack. They look really good together. So if you want to find these, these are kind of hard to find in the UK. I mean, I've seen them maybe from time to time. I'm not sure where I got these now. It's such a long time ago I got these. But they look really good together. Really nice. So if you like Rogue One, and it's probably the best of the Disney Star Wars movies, then this is a pair you might consider buying if you want to collect the 3.75 basic Rogue One figures and have the whole Rogue One team they look great together yeah so I've been looking at the 3.75 basic Force Link 2 pack of Baze Marbles and Chirrut Inray. I think I've probably paid about £6 for this set. 
maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Is it worth picking up? I think if you like Rogue One, if you like the basic 3.75 figures, then you probably will like these figures. It comes with this massive Gatling gun, this crossbow that Chewit uses to shoot down TIE fighters. It's quite a good figure. Hopefully you won't have the same problem as the basic figure where the arm snapped there. And you get the Bayes Mulbus, which is a pretty cool figure. He's the one I think is the better of the two. But together they look great. So overall I'd say this is quite a good pack. Find it in the UK and pick it up. We've been looking at this two pack, it's the Force Link, Base Marbus and Chira Imre European packaging. Force Link the first version. It's probably been upgraded to the Force Link uh, 2.0 maybe. Hasbro do do like to flog a dead horse. Here's the figures. So the base is really cool because it's a massive backpack. The gun he uses in the movie. Chirrut can come with the stick or staff. They look great together. It also comes with this crossbow, which he uses to shoot the Tie Fighters and here it comes with this massive Gatling gun backpack which has its own force link sound so yeah great pack lots of fun to be had and so end if my review cheers goodbye